folks, and welcome back to Patia, one of Patia's must-try buffets. We are pulling into a, a five-star resort here in Wongamat. That's where we're going to be uh, for this episode, the Wongamat neighborhood of Patia. And this resort is home to one of, definitely one of, Patia's best buffets. And this one has a special twist, I think, very very important if you're visiting here and really want a true taste of Thailand. So I can't wait to show you this. Let's jump into it. I've been waiting a long time for this. I, I write things down and then I forget I wrote them down and I found a list of, of to do stuff to do. And, and we've come to the Centara Mirage. We stayed here, I guess it's been about a year ago now. And that's what prompted me to write this down. We, we had a lovely stay here. And we were in the pool all day, the big water park here. And at the end of the day, we came up and, we, and they were just laying out this buffet and it looked fantastic. Neither one of us was in the mood for a buffet then. I vowed to come back. Well, that day has come. <laughs> we're here at the, it's called the Oasis, the Oasis buffet here at the Centaur Mirage. Now, of course, it's a big hotel. We're not staying here tonight, but you can just come to eat. Right at about a thousand baht a person. So I think that's about $27 and change with today's exchange rate. But the last time I was here, what sealed it for me, they were putting out a turkey. I saw a whole turkey fresh out of the oven that they were putting on a carving stand. I said, with that kind of stuff, plus shrimp, seafood, Thai food, all sorts. I said, wow, that, uh, th this might very well be the best buffet in Pattaya. Now, the last one of these big buffets we had at, was at the Hilton, and that's a hard one to beat as well. Very good. I, I, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if this is going to top that or be about the same or maybe not as good. Who knows? But I think that's where you find these, the best buffets in town are at the big resorts. There's another one, another one opening soon. So hopefully we'll see what that's about here in the next week or so. But uh, look at this, a bridge. We went through this whole water park last time. Waterfalls. I, uh, I dropped my old GoPro in there and then the seals were no good and I lost it if you remember that. But anyway, we've come early, about 10 minutes early. We have reservations for six. She, she the lady I spoke to on the phone uh, recommended that I made, make reservations and the parking lot was kind of full. So there's that, you might want to make reservations. It is a Sunday, I think on a weeknight, maybe not so much. Beautiful view of the of the ocean down there and the water park. They say Thai food specialty tonight. It's supposed to be all sorts of different Thai foods, but we'll see. One of Patia's premier resorts. We're expecting a premier buffet. <laughs> all right, we'll see how it's gonna be. So surprisingly enough, most of the buffets that we visited, especially the, the better ones in these, in these high-end resorts, they have a, a lot of mostly, I would say, Western offerings in there, all kind of different themes. And they may have a sprinkling of Thai food, but this buffet, exclusively Thai food, at least on Thai nights, and I'm not sure how many nights a week that is. They do have a couple other themed nights, but I didn't really, that really didn't hit home until I started shopping around at all the cuisine. Out here on the patio, I guess this would be the Isan section. They have grilled meats out here. They have a som tom section. They have a, no a whole noodle stand. You can make your own noodles, but I guess it's still safe to say all the real Thai gems lie inside the main buffet chamber. So I got in here early, got a good look at the buffet, the, un the unadulterated buffet before anybody touched it. And wow, it's a lot of stuff. Plus there's a whole area outside. We're sitting inside in the air condition. We could have sat outside on the patio if we wanted. Usually, I like to get one plate at a buffet, load it up, come back, eat it all up, and I'm done. It's just too much for that. Uh, first of all, there's still such a variety in different locations, so I'm just gonna try whatever looks good. I'll go back a couple different times. I started off with a nice little bowl of curry. V went right for the, <laughs> He went right for the shrimp, of course. No big surprise there. The uh, steamed shrimp on ice, and then very nice looking, big, big mussels. And she's up there grabbing more. Who knows what that'll be? But we'll look at it all. I'll definitely go out and get some stuff off the grill later. But this curry, the, the silverware is very heavy here. You really feel like you got something in your hand. Uh, the curry is lovely. Mm. Little sweet, little spicy. Wow. Wonderful. I don't know that I've ever had a curry 
that was that spicy and that sweet at the same time. Uh oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. These were uh, in a hot. These are served hot. Those are served cold. By the time by the time she gets done getting everything, I'll probably be done eating. <laughs> couple observations. I mean, th just sitting here thinking about it, this buffet is different than anything else in town right now. It's all Thai. It's all Thai. It's not they're trying to have sushi and they're trying to have Western fare, and spaghetti and burgers. And they're not trying to do it all. They're just doing Thai. I've had flavors here tonight in the dishes. Even living here, I've had flavors that I haven't had in quite a, quite a while. It's very refreshing. I mean, they, they, they're doing it very well. All the ingredients are here. So it dawned on me, you got this lovely resort. People come here on holiday from wherever. And what a, what a great way to get a, a taste of Thailand. First class ingredients at a totally Thai buffet. I don't know that there's another one in town like this where they have all the Thai specialties and nothing else. To put a point on that, V put a, a plate of shrimp down. You know she loves shrimp. Well, guess what? All the other food is gone and look what's still there. That plate of shrimp's still there because everything was so good. All of the other dishes, we had a, some salads, the, the curries. I went out and got the red pork, just the red pork alone. Succulent, juicy. Everything we got from the, from the dishes was top notch. And like I said, just full of flavor. This is called Thai nights, but like I know on Fridays, I think Friday they have cowboy night probably steaks and burgers and ribs. I, I think I'd almost rather have that, a theme buffet where it's one thing or the other. I don't need a mixture of everything, I get confused. But this, I tell you, if you're here on holiday, you really want to taste the Thailand, everything, you can find everything in here. Some of the best Thai food I've ever had. Everything I touch, one thing's better than the next. But we'll have to come back on one of the other nights when it's more just a general buffet where they have the turkey out and all that. But this Thai buffet, I think for the people visiting here, I think it's a, probably a must try. So, so the other thing is that uh, drinks are included, soft drinks anyway, you have to go, it, it's totally self-serve. So all the food items and the drinks, they have a whole soda fountain over there, uh, soft drinks. If you want uh, something from the bar, then they'll bring you that. They have an iPad menu and you can order your cocktail or whatever and the waitress takes care of that. So one of the guys from outside, he made cow lams. One of the things they're making on the patio area we did these before. Actually, V made these back in January when we were up in uh, Lopbury. But these are little, these are smaller ones. But wow, great, just fantastic. <laughs> Sticky rice with the coconut milk in it. <laughs> mm, very sweet. It's like a dessert. He brought them to the table for me. Something like that. You don't, you don't even see. You gotta have to go special places to get something like that. They have that here. That's what I mean for people coming here, wanting a, a total Thai food experience, I, I would just send them here. <laughs> a couple of the standouts, the sweet and sour fish I thought was great, just big chunks of meaty white fish and great flavor. There was a shrimp salad that I don't know that I've ever had, um, spicy, very spicy, a lot of lemony, like lemongrass, very good, very good, the, the shrimp salad. The first curry that I had with beef, there was full of beef, slowly stewed beef in that curry. 
sweet and spicy. Not a Masaman, not a Masaman curry, a little bit like that, much more spicy than a Masaman and sweeter than a Masaman. Very good, very, very good. Everything was good. V went and got a whole second helping of that shrimp salad before she touched the first shrimp from the raw bar. Uh, it was that good. And she went back and got a whole second plate of mussels, the great big mussels. So she's, uh, she's hit them hard on the seafood, I'll tell you that. <laughs> so the Thai, the total Thai theme carries over at the dessert section there, mango and sticky rice. Imagine that, you can actually make your own mango sticky rice. That's a stuffed pumpkin there also, and these these little uh, leaves rolled up with, they, that's sticky rice as well. Most of the desserts have some kind of glutinous or sticky rice in them. And they also have a thing over here with ice and fruits and uh, more coconut milk, and you can kind of make your own version of what I guess I would call a Thai ice cream. No regular ice cream though. We're officially stuffed leaving out of here. <laughs> so the total for the two of us, we didn't get anything from the bar, like 2,050 baht. I mean, it was, like I said, totally Thai. They didn't even have ice cream. They had all Thai desserts. <sighs> Which you can get ice cream anywhere. Would have been nice to have a little ice cream though. Bee's moving slower than I am. She, uh, she probably ate twice as much. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's all it's going to be. Another standout I forgot to mention was these fried prawn cakes. Wow, were they special and with great sauce. So uh, I can tell you, I, I think I know what's going to happen here already. Somebody's going to get off the plane, check into this resort. They're going to have a good time. They're going to visit this buffet and they're going to be in, in Thai food bliss. But probably they'll spend the rest of their holiday here searching out the same flavors uh, or maybe even better flavors than they got here, and, and I don't think they'll find them. I think everything else will pale in comparison on the rest of their holiday. So anyway, next time we'll go somewhere else and look at something different because for this one, got to leave it right here. And as usual, I'll thank you for watching. And until next time, bye for now.